Hey, welcome back to the channel. We are gonna work on the Liberty today. Let me show you what we got planned. Hey, during this video, we are gonna delete the spare tire. Well, temporary. Because if you guys know anything about these Liberties and you put a bigger tire on that spare tire mount, it rattles a lot. So this door rattles quite a bit when you're going down the road. And you hear that rattle noise pretty well inside. The mission is to remove the license plate and put it where the spare tire is. Now that we got the spare tire off, you can see the spare tire mount. It's crazy that you don't hear the clunking anymore. So just that weight alone, the hatch doesn't like it one bit. We'll remove the spare tire mount. You can see that there are some modifications done to this. I actually added extensions and flipped it around. So therefore the tire didn't hit the bumper anymore because we are running, we run 32s on this Liberty. So therefore we modded that mount so we can hold the big spare tire. So let's remove that mount and find a, a bracket to put on there to put a temporary license plate bracket in the place of the spare tire mount. The reason we're putting the license plate up here, we're gonna ditch this plastic bumper and build our own. Or I've been looking at Marketplace to try to find a, like an XJ or a TJ rear bumper to mod to put up here. I kind of wanted to do a JK to keep the whole JK theme going on since we have the JK fender flares, the JK hood latches, and the JK bumper. Oh, and JK headlights. Now we got the spare tire mount off. Now we gotta find a plate to cover this ugliness. Here we go, we found some galvanized sheets. They got a, like a 90 on here, which I think might help us. I'm gonna lay it up there and show you what I'm thinking. Now we can make some measurements to put that plate in place of that spare tire mount. the license plate as a guide to mark the holes. you guys a little trick how to transfer a hole to drill on that plate. We'll dab a little bit of grease on the ends of these bolts. Then with some precision, we will line them up on this plate. I said precision. Ta-da! 
But we threw some spacers on here. Now let's see if our holes line up. Oh yeah. I'd say for a cheap and free to us mod, that looks pretty good. We should probably paint it though, huh? Now we need to remove the rear bumper and I'm gonna ditch these fender flares for now. I'm just really not feeling them. I think they would actually look a lot cooler if I had a wider wheel and a little bit taller tire, but we don't. So the fender flares just stick out a little bit too far for my liking. So we'll remove the fender flare, the rear bumper, and then we can start building our rear bumper. And the fender flare, I'm thinking about doing like a fender delete. My thought is to ditch the fender flare look and kind of just flatten this out inward. Yeah, I believe the rear fender look would look a lot better if we make some like fender delete thing and just keep these around until or if we ever get a little bit taller tire and a wider wheel on here. I've been looking on Marketplace for some JK wheels, some blacked out ones, uh, maybe like 35s, like takeoffs, to put on here and get rid of these TJ Moabs. But that hasn't happened yet. So we'll rock these for now and delete that rear fender flare. Enough talking more working we need to make that plate black so let's do that Well, I didn't see that coming. I did not know the tail lights come through the outside. The wires come from the outside through the bumper to the tail light. And then that one goes over to the other tail light. So that threw me for a loop when I saw that guy. We might be driving around looking pretty ugly here for a couple days. If you guys are like me, your projects are your dailies as well. I pulled this cap off thinking we could run that wire to the driver's side taillight through the unibody. There's like foam in here all through that unibody bumper. So that idea won't work. Got the tailgate shut. Kind of like the clean look going back here, but that low hanging fruit is butt ugly. No pun intended. Well, I just ran the wires up through the unibody bumper. Just using those screws that were in the bumper. Just kind of snugged them in there for now. <laughs> kind of tucks them away. It sort of kind of looks better. Not really, but good enough for now. When we build the rear bumper for the Liberty, we really need to do something 
with that receiver hitch. You cannot hang that low. That does not look good. We're gonna have to do some modifications to get that hitch up higher. Fun fact, if you do not know this and you're a Jeep Liberty owner or wanna be a Jeep Liberty owner, that hitch right there, the receiver hitch, you get that for free at any Mopar Jeep dealer because it's a recall. Jeep Liberties have the low hanging fruit, also known as the fuel tank. So there's not enough protection back here um, from the factory with this unibody bumper. The recall was to install a factory receiver hitch. So if you don't have a factory receiver hitch on your Jeep Liberty, go to your local Jeep dealer and they'll hook you up for free. This is a wrap on the short video on deleting your spare tire temporary. So we'll do something more here in the future. We're gonna build a rear bumper for the Liberty or purchase an aftermarket one. If we score one off a of Facebook marketplace, I've been searching. I do find some, they're just way too far away. They're decent prices too, like 200 bucks. I can't build anything for 200. I'd rather buy a JK or any Wrangler bumper and hack it up to make it look good on the Liberty. A future video on the Liberty will be getting rid of that receiver hitch, moving it up. Then we'll be able to mount some toe points off that and build our bumper as well. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe and check out all of our other videos on this Jeep Liberty. We've done some pretty cool mods. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time. Oh yeah, we need to go back to the drawing board on this fender flare. The more I look at it, the more I might just cut the ones that we had on there more flush with the sidewall but stay tuned more mods on the liberty